Hello everyone, Genma the Samurai here, and welcome back to this part of Metroid Prime! Alright guys, so last time we were exploring here in the Magmore Caverns, and now we're going to be heading back up to the Chozo Ruins to try and collect some more artifacts, and also uh, we got the uh, Icebreaker, I believe it was called, the Ice Beam combo, and we also got the Plasma Beam and the X-Ray Visor, so again, uh, another productive part. Hello, is that like a weird Chozo mural? I actually didn't notice that before. Lead the way, let's go here and continue onward with our lives. So, yeah. Gosh, this game still looks so pretty to this day. I don't even care. Like, <laughs> like again, I think the only time I notice cracks is like at points, like in a second where it kind of zooms in on her suit and like you kind of notice it's like, yeah. But like really, everything looks fine when viewed from like a distance. And honestly, that is really darn solid for this era so I don't know either way though let's go this way and right so of course there is a puzzle in this room to solve um, let me shoot some of these um, okay get rid of the hives I hate I hate wasps I really do but I think I mentioned that in another part um, but no there was an incident the other day actually a uh, real life story um, where I saw a wasp in the room and it was kind of by my window some wasps were trying to uh, basically make a nest uh, just outside of the house um, which was pretty scary uh, still you know we were taking care of it and stuff and this one wasp ends up in my room so I'm trying to take care of it it's a yellow jacket specifically um, so there happened to be some bug spray in here because the other day I guess uh, uh, my uncle came in and he basically kind of, well he called me, uh, from another house and he kind of said, uh, that I guess some wasps had gotten into my room, um, and that they were making like, I don't know, like a little nest or something at my window because the window was open, and, uh, so he sprayed them, and, yeah, that was kind of crazy. Long story short, um, uh, relative, you know, came in through my window that day because he couldn't open the door. Um, so, yeah, so there's wasps that were making a nest, and so, uh, I came back, uh, the next day because, you know, I had to stay there, you know, for various reasons, long story short, getting around is kind of a pain. Um, and so when I got back, there was a wasp, uh, yeah, so, so this is when I'm tying this all back, frick me. <laughs> That was not what I meant to happen at all. Okay. Um, so yeah, I came back, and there was a wasp in my room, and the spray can was left over, so I used it and killed it. So then after cleaning it up and putting my curtain into the washer because it was just, you know, sprayed with insecticide, of course, uh, I then came back in my room, and lo and behold, another one was in. And I guess there was some sort of crack in my... Hello, that is spooky. Um, it was some sort of crack in my window or something that I think they were getting through, so I kind of had to, uh, put some of that spray kind of in between, uh, that, like, crack so that they would feel disencouraged to try and go in that way. Uh, thankfully I haven't had an incident since then, but, yeah. Ooh, that is ominous. Okay. Hello. Okay. I'm gonna deal with these guys. So... Yeah, this is your normal Chozo Ghost fight. Um, not a whole lot to this one. I basically like to hang out up there a lot. Uh, okay, I want to be really careful with my missile usage, of course. Uh, okay, come on, dude. What you can do. Okay, so that's what you got. I see. Alright. Just gonna keep doing that for a bit. And, right. So one thing that is annoying about these guys is that they are only weak to the, you know, power beam, of course. Uh, frick off, by the way. Okay. So, uh, let's do that. Okay. Really? You're not dead yet? Okay. Come on. So yeah, freaking hard mode in the damage outputs. Yeah, the super missiles really don't do a small amount of damage. They do quite a lot. Um, Alright. So what are you doing now, bro? Okay. Now, I'm going to do it one more time. Come on. Dead. Alright. 
so that should clear up our little ghost problem here. Yeah, we're gonna be running into a lot more Chozo ghosts in this area, I will let you guys know. Alright, so after doing that, we have an artifact to go grab that is right up here. Boom. Chozo artifact acquired, yes. Okay, this is the artifact of wild, the fourth of twelve. Very good. Okay, so with that, we're going to move forward. So, let's actually head back towards the uh, passageway that is now open here. That was another thing I didn't really comment on before, is that after you fight Flagra, um, the plant stuff that he uses to block the door never really go away until you basically do what I just did, uh, which is pretty annoying. That means that the only way to get that artifact is to approach it uh, backwards from the Magmore entrance, though that does, you know, of course, make it so that you have to at least have the uh, Spider Ball to be able to even go back there. So, I mean, eh. I've heard people really complain about the artifact hunt in this game and how they really don't like how uh, at the very end of the game, frick me, I hate, I hate these ghosts. I really do. Okay, there's a the door. We're gonna go through it. Um, I think this is the one that I wanted to use. Well, if not, I mean, whatever. I can go back. Um, but yeah, people really don't like the artifact hunt. Uh, they feel like it's just kind of like artificial padding. And to a degree, I can, uh, agree. There is, like, there are a few artifacts that are kind of cryptically hidden. Though, I managed to find most of them when I was younger without, like, really a help of a guide at all. Uh, the game kind of tells you to check these rooms for them, and after, you know, you search thoroughly enough, you might eventually find them, just it might give, take you some time initially. Um, but I don't know. Oh, I didn't read that lore. I should do that. Sorry. Okay. The power of our temple has been enough to halt the spread of the poison on Talon 4, but that which remains thrives and grows more concentrated, gnawing on itself in the dark passages beneath the planet's surface. Whether it can ever be truly destroyed is not for our eyes to see, but there is something else. We chose where our drifting, tumbling through space and time as the great poison eats away at our sanity. We wake in the dreams, as the veil of lunacy descends, as past and future blend and shuffle. One image appears and flickers through the landscape, wraith-like. It is the hatchling, the newborn, walking the path of cor corruption, a lone figure shining in the toxic shadows. She comes dressed for war, and her wrath is terrible. Do her eyes look backwards, seeing the hatchling, uh, hatchling as she once was, or does she approach even now, arriving in our race's last hour? A savior clothed in machines crafted long ago by Chozo hands, poisonous clouds drift ac across our vision. Mm. Man, poor guys. Well, either way, let's do this and progress forward. So one thing that, I mean, I could see why they would do this, but uh, one thing that is annoying about the gravity suit in this game is, hello, missile tank. Would you think to check here? Probably not, but it's okay. We're moving onward. Uh, frickin' A, could you just move forward? Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, one thing about the gravity suit in the 2D games is that it doesn't take damage from lava. Uh, in this game it does, so that's annoying, but it's okay. So, one of these guys I'm gonna have to go primarily power beam on, so that's fun. Um, let's do that. Come on. Okay, what you doing, dude? I'm gonna kill this one first with the first power beam. Okay. Alright, you doing okay, dude? Yeah, turn hard mode and the damage it takes. Uh, okay. Can you just lock into that one? Okay. Frick! Uh oh. Oh wait, I can still do two. So. Ow, stop! Okay. Alright, so that is one, and. Alright, done. So yeah, these guys pretty annoying. I think it only takes like, at most two of those things on normal mode. Like, the damage buff is pretty darn substantial, I'll be frank. But it's okay. So, here we got two slots to bomb. Uh, I don't know which one I just did. Okay, that's the progress one. 
Uh, the other one is an item one, so we just gotta keep it up. Frickin', excuse me? Okay. Boom. Alright, so we gotta rush over to that. Okay. Now, bomb. Grab a hold of that. And very good. Okay. Yes. There's an energy tank. And with that, we can move forward. So, yeah. Again, pretty straightforward area. Um, there's a few more things I do want to nab uh, before we actually head back out. So, let's go this way. And right. Okay. So, now we move up there. And move down. Okay. Very good. Very, very, very good. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this section, uh, I'm not really a big fan of. It just takes up time, but it's okay. Look. So yeah, the Chozo Ruins is pretty neat. Lots of little things to find all around. Uh, okay. So, I keep thinking there's a way to get this missile tank early, and I'm sure if you, like, timed some jumps right, you might be able to. Uh, I personally haven't been able to yet. But I think it's possible if you manage to get a good jump off of um, that thing over there. In the meantime, um, we're actually going to head back over to the room where we got the Wave Buster. And again, you guys might be wondering, well, why would we want to go back there? I thought we collected everything. Well, actually, not really. There was something under the water, but I couldn't actually grab everything down there at the time. So, uh, right, let's just uh, jump Okay, no. <laughs> I'm doing this the normal way. Frick it. Oh boy. Uh, okay, maybe not entirely the normal way. Uh, okay. It is annoying doing this area once you trigger the stupid ghost to show up everywhere. Okay. Okay, we need to move fast before we get blasted off of the rails. Okay. Okay, let's shoot this. And we're on our way. Very good. Okay. So, yeah, I still get freaking tense every single time I hear that track, ever so slightly. <laughs> freaking creeps me out. But, yeah, so now that we have this, we just need to jump up here, use a uh, freaking wave beam, and right there is an artifact. Chose an artifact acquired. So we got the Life Giver, the 5th of 12. Alright. So we already have, I think, like, half of them. Or at least around that number. So, yeah, we're making really good progress. Um, in fact, actually, we could collect most of them pretty much before we go back to the phase on Mines. Though I'm going to save some of them for after that. I have my reasons for that, but, yeah. Um, once you have the plasma beam, you have the ability to get about 90% of them. In fact, I would make the argument all of them, provided you get like one more thing, uh, which will be coming up soon enough, but I wanted to give us more time to play around with that thing because, yeah, we're gonna be pretty darn, like, tooting in terms of collectibles and all that stuff. Like, we're doing good. Okay, guys? We're doing real good. So... Right, let's go this way, and I think I've collected everything in this general direction in terms of power-ups and items. Um, I'll have to see. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to head this way anyway. Come on. Okay. Now, I want to head back to the room where I got the uh, charge. Oh, I didn't get you. Okay. Pro tip for doing this puzzle, guys. Um... Frickin' Okay, let's do that, and then... <laughs> Frick, okay, let me kill some of you guys. Uh... Boop. Okay. Now, boom, boom, and that should be it. Okay. Ow, what? Where's the last of you? Oh. Oh, hi. Hi, little guy. 
You doing okay? All right. <laughs> Some pro, right? Okay, we're up here, and then boom. Now there's a whole little bomb section there, but I just kind of skipped the whole thing because frick it. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that's done. So moving on. Oh yeah, that was the save point there that I did not use. I just realized that. <laughs> okay. Well, so much for that as well. Uh, did I get this? I hope I got this. Let's go here. And... Yeah, I got it. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, that's weird. I got that, but I did not get the nursery one. Okay. Whatever you say, game. Uh, whatever you say to me, I should say. Uh, Alright. Well, without further ado, we're going here. So, it's good that I went and checked that. Uh, in the meantime, though, we're going to make our way back to Magmar Caverns, I think. Well, soon enough. I'm going to go through another route. I actually want to head back to the temple and we're gonna go back to the freaking um, uh, phase on mines that way and I have a few reasons for that so yeah so we're gonna be doing lots of Chozo ruins this time <laughs> yeah lots of Magmore lots of Chozo ruins so let's go this way and yeah we already just did this section I realize that I'm sorry um, we're doing it again so let's climb up uh, okay, please, please don't snipe me off of this, guys. Frick off! Ugh. Okay, I hate, I hate these things. I hate their families, which is why I'm destroying their families. I, <laughs> uh, okay, very good. Alright. Frickin' war wasps. And go frickin' screw themselves. I hate, ugh. God dang it. Okay. Uh, I'll probably jump cut to me being up this, so one second, guys. Okay, welcome back guys. So, we're gonna be heading back over to this room and seeing what we can collect on this side of things. Um, again, I think I wanna actually... I'm gonna do a little bit of an obtuse <laughs> pathway. Um, I'll probably save somewhere around this one specific spot. Don't worry, we'll get there soon enough. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go here and we're gonna actually jump down here and there should be a little walkway yeah okay and there's a missile tank so we couldn't collect this until we got ourselves the gravity suit of course so now that we have it we were able to you know grab it so let's actually head this way and jump up there jump up there and right so we're gonna make our way over to the spot where we grab the you know charge beam itself so Right over here is a bombable spot. Now, we could have gone here earlier, but I think it's best done now. Uh, or at least, well, yeah, I think it's best done now because we're kind of going to be coming back here for a ton of power-ups anyway. Uh, by the time we're done with this, we're going to have a ton more in our arsenal, trust me. So, right over here is a missile tank. And right up there is, well 
more stuff that we can get with the spider ball. So let's actually uh, jump up here, try and kill that thing. Okay. You know what, frick it. We're gone. <laughs> um, let's ignore the speed of that. And boom. We got ourselves another missile expansion. And right, so we can move down. So, yeah, with that, we should have pretty hefty amount of missiles. Um, not as many as there are in the game. There's quite a lot of missiles in this game. Uh, I think one thing I find interesting on a game design level is how they handled missiles in this game because in the 2D games uh, missiles were extremely useful and you can just kind of pump them out about as efficiently as you know power beams and I think there was beta gameplay of this that they showed a really long time ago uh, really really early gameplay uh, where you kind of did get to see Samus uh, kind of pumping them out it looked like but I see why they would kind of nerf it because as is missiles have a pretty substantial reload time and instead beams are kind of emphasized a lot more um, and in terms of missiles, you still have an incentive to collect a lot of missiles because that's how you're able to use the beam combos efficiently. Um, which again, I, I find this whole system actually pretty darn cool. Uh, I still really like the 2D games way of handling it where missiles are like super good, but you know, you don't want to use them too often because you know, then you have to worry about restocking them. In this one's case though, I feel like the missiles could be slightly better. I almost want to say because like I said they were really useful in the 2D games but man you like only occasionally really use missiles like I use them on Chozo Ghosts of course I think the average player will certainly use them on Chozo Ghosts uh, me I do use them a lot more but uh, I know there's probably a lot of people that wouldn't I guess was what I actually meant to say um, boom okay and with that, we're going to be able to head back into this room. And looky here, speak of the devils, here they are. Okay. Okay. I fought enough of you guys today, but no, actually, no, I haven't fought enough of you guys today because I'm going to run into another one of you guys in, like, the next room or so. So that's going to be me. Uh, okay. So you notice, also, there's kind of this big old gap in the floor, but we can also walk on that. Um, because there's no gap there if we take this beam or this visor off. So, it's actually a hint about something. So, I'll show you guys what I mean after I kill this thing. Okay, come on. Frick off, by the way. Okay. There we go. I hate these things. So, yeah, you'll notice that you can actually see through this, um, but. What you can actually do about that is this. Boom! Yeah, and if you scanned it, it would have said it was Bendesium as well. Uh, okay. So, let me kill you. Really? I can't do that? Okay. Well, let's do this. Alright. So we have our little gap in between these guys. So this is a little puzzle to get ourselves a missile tank. Um, I don't know how long this part is going to be. Hopefully it won't be too long. Um, now there's one part at the end of this section I am not looking forward to. Uh, okay, so there's the shadow. Okay. I hate that. Okay, this is, this is the part I don't like. Um... Okay, I landed that. Barely, though. Okay. Alright, let's go here. Okay. Now, let's jump up there, and we got it. Very good. Section done. Okay. So, yeah. Like I said, we're gonna have lots of missiles by the end of this. Uh, all we need to do is make a stop by the ship, and we will be good. So... Right. Um, in fact, I think I probably will end the part back at our ship. Um, there are a few things I want to collect in this next room. Okay. So, of course, god dang Chozo ghosts. Come at me, bro. 
Oh, it's three of you. Okay. Well, that's fun. Actually, you know what? Frick that. I have a way to deal with this. Okay. Really? Okay. I have to kill these guys first? Fine. Alright. Well, I'll do it then. Oh, good. Alright. Come at me, dude. Alright. So, yeah. These guys still suck. Like, I gotta deal with... God dang. Alright. Tell you what, guys. I'm gonna cut to after this fight. You guys know how it's gonna go. Really? Really? go up here and recharge our god dang missiles okay and then we're gonna open up the stupid beam passages collect some junk and make our way back to our ship so there we go yeah 175 missiles now if you think that's a lot uh, no um, we have quite a number of missiles left to get in fact the maximum number is 255 so yeah we got a lot more though again one thing to remember is that each missile expansion gives you five so um i'm not sure how many we have left i think it's five and then 11 so um that is uh, 16 sorry i can math <laughs> i can math i swear uh did I get this already? I think I might have. If not, uh, sorry. Okay, well, let's go down. And, no, I did not. Okay. Well, let's grab that. And, okay. So now we have another energy tank. We have almost all the energy tanks, too. Uh, we're really getting along in terms of that. Okay. So now I need to use the plasma beam one and we will get one more secret so let's go back up here and up there and up here and right so boom okay i still like this the music here is really cool this is the game that established the theme of the chozo which actually do show up in a few different metric games after this um, Zero Mission is one of them, uh, Samus Returns is another, um, it's still really weird how absent Chozo are in some of these games, but I mean, I just wonder what happened to all of them, I guess. But anyways, Chozo Artifact Acquired. So this is the Artifact of World, the 10th of 12. Very, very, very good. So we only have... Uh, one, two, three, four, five left to get. Awesome. So we are mostly there. Um, this is all of the Chozo artifacts in this region. There are a few, of course, in Fendrana. Uh, I think that's where a good bulk of the rest are. Um, in the meantime, I think it is time for us to, well, make our way back over to, well, Talon Overworld, I suppose. I think that would be a good place to go. So, yeah. Well, anyways, let's go up here, go up there, go up there, okay, or you could just do that, that works too, okay, or I could just save right here, it's not that much farther. So, anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to this part of Metroid Prime, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one where we go back to Talon Overworld and make our way back to the Phazon Mines after collecting another you know set of items uh we're making some really 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 good progress and i hope you guys enjoyed see you guys then mm, bye